Welcome, 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 welcome to the channel. I am Eve Elements. If you are new to my channel, welcome. The gates of the Garden of Eve are open. Welcome, one and all. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed. Readings indicative of past, present, future. Time is fluid. Don't make the story fit if it's not your story, okay? So we're going to get into this reading. This is a general read, by the way. For the month of December 2023. Alright. December 2023. What's going on in the collective that they need to know? Holy Spirit, Archangels, and Spirit Guides. What's going on in the collective that they need to know? Just know you're being protected by your ancestors. Your ancestors on your mother and father's side are watching you closely here. You could be a student in college, high school, or a student of life. In general, your ancestors are watching you because you're coming into wealth. This wealth is meant for you, okay? You could be hitting the jackpot. This could be an inheritance. This could be a lawsuit. Uh, this could be something that you are working towards, okay? But you're definitely physically coming into wealth. You're already spiritually wealthy, whoever I am talking to. Someone in the past... Okay, that's still in your energy has moved to a karmic's house here because they thought they were going to have a level up with a karmic. This karmic may have had at one point in time money. I feel like in the present right now, they are broke. Your ancestors watched the whole thing go down with this opportunist that chose not to be with you, but to be with someone else due to uh, finances, due to money. Yeah, they said F it. And they moved in with a karmic. They thought they were going to get a level up. They got a level down. Let's see here. Your money is secured. Any type of money you're coming into in the month of December is very secured here. You have an older cousin that's doing uh, um, unaliving spells on family members to collect insurance money here. They're doing death spells. To collect, ins to collect insurance money in order to help them come into wealth. Your ancestors are watching, making sure nothing happens to you, making sure that this older cousin doesn't reap the rewards and benefits off of your unaliving, okay? With these um, unaliving rituals that this older cousin is doing in order to come into wealth. If you have one of those family members... If one of your cousins always seems to have more than the other family members, they always taking trips, they always doing this, they always doing that. Even if they have grandchildren, you know what I'm saying? They grandchildren are well off and stuff like that, but you notice that everybody else in the family is passing away um, from like unknown illnesses or known illnesses. That's this cousin. Your ancestors see everything that this cousin is doing here. They've been doing unaliving spells on a super uh, blue moon here. It's backfiring on them. Spell would backfire fast. They could have went to a Haitian man to do this to family members. <coughs> what do we need to know? And the spell work is definitely backfiring on this Haitian man who, who was paid to do this work. It's backfiring on your cousin who also personally did the spell work themselves. They're stealing other people's destinies in the family. And if they're not stealing destinies, because you, I don't believe you can steal someone's destiny. But what you can do is put life insurance on people in the physical and fucking collect money off of it and shit. When you don't need to be collecting money. I feel like life insurance policies should be specifically geared to only people's kids. If they have. And if they ain't got no kids, next to kin. I feel like whoever this older cousin is been putting life insurance policies out on individuals in the family that they no longer speak to. Talk to. Those that they do speak to and talk to. And what they've been doing is they've been putting on the life insurance policy that they are next to kin. They've been putting their name down. So when someone passes away in the family, they will go to their insurance carrier and 
somehow secure a death certificate or the date of death on a family member here and they would show this death certificate to their insurance policy carrier or company and then this is how they were collecting money okay so be mindful they've been going to a Haitian uh, a Haitian voodoo priest that's been doing death spells on everybody in the family that they target. Because they're targeting certain people in the family. Or it is older cousin is of yours. We have our Salvadorian woman. So whoever moved to the karmic's house, they moved in with an El Salvadorian woman. Yeah. Or you could be from El Salvador. You're an El Salvadorian woman. What else for the collective? Holy Spirit, Archangels, and Spirit Guides. What's going on here with the collective? Astral projecting. This is Salvadorian woman. Or flip your switch. It's been astral projecting onto you. This person left you for an outsider who's a player. So someone's a playboy, playgirl energy. They left you to go live with someone else, a karmic. Oh, they either left you for an El Salvadorian woman, woman, or you are this El Salvadorian woman. And someone left you, and whoever they with is projecting onto you. Whatever those projections are, they ain't no good. We already know people projecting onto you is no good, right? Yeah, you know they're projecting. You feel them in your energy. I heard that both of them are projecting. <laughs> playing in your energy. Feeling them in your energy. Playing in your energy. Astral projecting. A Salvadorian woman is playing around in your energy here. Someone's on drugs. What else? Holy Spirit. Archangels, spirit gods, but your ancestors watching everything these people are doing. Okay, there's a reason why your ancestors are watching you, but they're also protecting you as well. They're not only watching you, they're project, they're uh, protecting you, especially for people that's astral projecting, people that's doing death spells. So you got relatives doing death spells. You got exes that's moved in with someone that they're projecting. Like, come on now. Because in more than one year, you're going to be famous. Your money is secured. Your ancestors are making sure of that here. Moon magic failed. So whoever was projecting, astral projecting in your energy, playing in your energy, and you can feel them, that magic failed. Someone, every time the moon cycles hit, someone was doing moon magic here. I see you relocating or relocation or you have relocated already. Your money is secured. Ancestors are watching and protecting at the same damn time. Someone here is thinking of ways to come back and use you because they're still in love with this karmic and not you. Question, question, question. Everything. Okay, hold on to your money at this time. They're coming back to try to use you. To take from you and give to this damn karmic. Okay, someone over here is trying to read your destiny and be fucking nosy. When they need the money business. You have the crown of success. And you got the Midas touch. Okay. I see some of you listening to music nowadays. Whereas before you never listened to music. Or you stopped listening to music. You could be an entrepreneur. I could be speaking to an entrepreneur here. Your business is going to be successful. Whatever that business is. So if you, if you already have a business that's been having a hard time getting off the ground for the past 2-3 years. Maybe even five years. It's about to take off. All right. What else for the collective? Yeah, them death spells are backfiring. People will start dying soon. This older cousin's about to pass away. Them and this uh, Haitian man that they went to. 
to help them with this. It's time to collect. It's, I heard it's time to pay the piper. For every family member or relative that they unalive with these death rituals and collected money off of their off of the deceased heads. I heard the spirits are after them. Their own family members are after their souls. They're going to drag them to hell. They're going to drag this family member, this cousin, to hell. So they better enjoy it while it lasts because they're about to pass away. Okay, time to collect. Time to pay the piper. I wouldn't be surprised if this relative, this older cousin of yours that was doing the death spells, as well as hired a Haitian hitman to do these death rituals on family members is not having nightmares. Spirits in their house walking around. Spirits of the deceased which are related to them. Okay? This ain't any spirits. This is spirits of the deceased. They want justice. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. This is what I keep hearing repetitively. Someone's collect, someone's soul about to get taken. Karmic knew about you the entire time. Whoever moved in with a karmic, this El Salvadorian woman that's astral projecting and doing moon magic and your energy knew about you the whole damn time. They're sending someone back towards you. This ex is coming back towards you, whether the karmic sent them or not, to try to play you, to try to get something up out of you, which is money. Okay? You're trying to get money up out of you. Tell me about this karmic doing this moon magic. What do we need to know? Karmic doing moon magic. Archangels and spirit guides. Show me the truth and clarity. Show me what I need to see. Yeah, they live together. We got Taurus here. Someone has a Venus and Taurus here. This karmic is someone that challenges tradition, right? They live an unconventional lifestyle here. There's a lot of role reversal. So this person wears the pants in this relationship, in this connection. There's nonconformity here. I feel like, um, give me a second. I choose which traditions I embrace and how I do it. What? I choose which traditions I embrace and how I do it. This person pretty much does whatever they want. They feel like they could do it. So I feel like someone's dabbling in witchcraft here with this moon magic shit. Okay. I feel like this karmic is jealous of you. They're jealous of your light. They feel like you have it all and they don't. Even if they have everything that they have they still decide they want to project onto you. Nasty energy. The evil eye. This could be a Taurus. This, this El Salvadorian woman could be a Taurus that's doing this here. They also could have recently gotten a divorce or they divorced, but they're living with someone else. Oh, okay. What else, Holy Spirit, concerning this karmic doing this moon magic on the collective? Ooh, wow, they're losing money. I feel like they paid out at least $6,000 to get work done against you, whether they did it themselves or whether they paid somebody to do it. But they're losing money here. Six of Pentacles reversed here. There's a lot of um, unequality here. There's no reciprocity. There's no balance in this person's finances for attacking you with this moon magic here. There's a lot of breadcrumbing here. Show me what else I need to see. Thank you. Bad decisions. Could be a Libra. We got Libra and we got Taurus. Okay, we got Scorpio here. With that Plutonian sign. That's Pluto. It's Scorpio. So we got some we got Scorpio here with a moon in Taurus. And a Venus in Taurus. And we have a Saturn in uh, Sagittarius. 
This person is receiving bad news concerning the bad decisions that they have made. That bad news that they're receiving is that they're losing money. Okay, a lot of it. Why are they losing money? Because Archangel Michael is here. Bring up balance to the situation because they never should have attacked you. Someone has Jupiter and Sagittarius. This could be you. You have Sagittarius highly aspected in your natal birth chart. Someone could be born on the 14th day of the month, the 20th day of the month, the 5th day of the month. We got May 14th and May 20th. So we got Gemini and Taurus here. Okay. And then we have Sagittarius here. So we got Gemini, Taurus, and Sagittarius. Why right? you or them could have this highly aspected in your birth chart. But this is who you're dealing with, that person that was attacking you, this moon magic here. So their stuff is no longer working. They're receiving bad news. All right, things are coming into balance. So they're, they're going to receive their karma for doing this. Because they knew about you the whole time. But just because someone knows about you doesn't mean anything. It just means they should mind their business. They only know about you because whoever was with you was running their mouth and bumping their gums about you to them. Right? Kicking up jealousy. Whoever well, was running their mouth about you already knew that they were going to make this person jealous. All right? Now that they suspect this person is going to do magic, they probably did. For some of you, they probably didn't. I feel like you're not going back to whoever this ex is of yours. You moved on. Right? But they still have someone in their energy, someone that they're with, someone that they moved in with, doing black magic to you, doing moon spells. Now everything is moving slow in their life. Everything is at a halt here because they were being reckless in your energy. Okay, Mars and Aquarius. They're having a lot of missed opportunities, okay, which are out of their control now. They wanted you to miss opportunities. They wanted you to get left behind, right? Very hurtful. Someone who opposes and upsets your plans. This is what they was trying to do, but Michael is here putting a stop to whatever it is they were trying to do. So this is bad news for that karmic here. Tell me about the cousin that was doing death spells on all family members, including the collective. We all know the spell work backfired on this Haitian man, Haitian voodoo priest. I heard Haitian Bokor, someone that's a necromancer. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Mm hmm. Knight of Wands reverse. <laughs> someone was being arrogant and reckless of being a daredevil. They were too over overly confident, okay? Whoever this person is, is a show-off. They show off a lot. I feel like whoever this Haitian man is, they promise much but don't deliver much. Okay, so someone wasted their money there. <laughs> I feel like no action was taken. I feel like that Haitian man just took this person money. Okay. Older cousin doing death spells on family members here. Show me this older cousin that was doing death death rituals to unalive family members here to collect some sort of money, life insurance money off the family members here. Holy Spirit, Archangel Spirit, I show me truth clarity. Show me what I need to see. What about this uh, older cousin that was doing death rituals on relatives to collect insurance money without those relatives' permission? You'd be sitting up at this person. Someone used to always go to a cousin's house when that cousin would throw barbecues and shit. There's no forward movement in life for their ass, okay? I feel like whoever they paid to try to do death rituals, this person promised a lot. But they took this, they took your cousin's money. They took your cousin's money. This could be a cancer. That Haitian man could be a cancer. Forcefulness, lack of direction. This person has no power. They're powerless. There, there's a lot of blocks that came towards this Haitian man. I feel like if they were trying to do a death ritual on you to unalive you to collect money, their powers got snatched and now they're powerless. Your ancestors is watching. Some of you, your ancestors could be of Haitian descent, but they hold high ranking in the spiritual realm and they snatched this motherfucker's powers. Okay, three of pentacles here. Mm-hmm. They're working to collaborate with this person that has no forward movement. There's nothing he can do to you. They may have gotten away with that with other uh, deceased relatives that are now no longer here. May they rest in peace for whoever you are. But I feel like...
They were commit, committed to building on this, doing this, in order to become successful, right? They were determined with these goals, these plans in mind to unalive you and collect this money. person ain't do shit or they couldn't do it if they tried to do it they couldn't do it okay your ancestors is watching your ancestors put a stop to this your money is secured in more than one year you'll be famous you will be relocating okay because of business here you got business success crown of success you got the Midas touch you could be a tarot reader that this all was going down with okay Someone wants to contact you, whoever's been watching you. More than one year, you're going to be wealthy as well. So you're going to be filthy, rich, and fucking famous. Okay? Whoever you are, that's a tarot card reader. With that being said, this is your reading.